Hi everyone, it's Eva with another tutorial for some building and decor tricks. Make sure you have the following sheets enabled before you start building. So first up is a floating desk, which is part of my modern beach mansion. It's really simple and can be done fully with base game items. So first up, we need the immaculate shelf. Size it up once and just place it on any height for now. So then you just use any desk at all. Doesn't really matter because it won't be visible. I just use this base game desk and you size it down to the smallest size. And then you choose whichever computer you like. Um, this one I use is from City Living, not from base game, but any computer works. So you place that on the desk, it will snap onto it automatically. And then you move the tiny desk as far to the wall as possible. And then you can adjust the height of the shelf so the computer looks like it's sat on top of it. Just raise it with nine and lower it with zero to the height that fits perfect. And then to cover up the tiny desk at the bottom, you can again choose whatever you like best. I, for example, used this box with grass in it, but it's from Spa Day, so not base game, but it's totally up to you what you want to use. I like sizing this grass box up once and it still won't block your sims from using the computer, so it is fully functional. And in the last step, just put some decorations up and it's done. Next up is the custom pin board with notes and photos that's part of my boho apartment for which you will definitely need parenthood. So as the pin board I use a blank canvas to reach that just type painting into the search bar and scroll to the bottom and there you can choose between three different options for this. I like using the large painting because of its shape but it's completely up to you. So then I size this one down twice and then to access the notes, make sure you've got the cheats enabled that I mentioned at the beginning of this video and go into the debug section by searching for debug. Then set the filter to parenthood and scroll down to these empty looking items. These are the notes and photos you can use to put up, but if you select them, you won't be able to see them because they're like low in the ground. So just raise them up um, and then you can see them fully. There's a couple of different ones available that you can mix and match as you like. Just raise them up to the height that you want to place them. You can size them up or down, depending on what kind of look you want to achieve, and then place them as close as possible to the canvas so they're not like floating in the air. You can also do the same thing on fridges. There are also some photos in the parenthood debug section right next to the notes, which I also find really cute to put up. But for that, you'll have to delete the walls around it or the pictures will like snap onto them. And I also like putting postcards on. Just type postcard into search and it'll come up with all the postcards. And these are all base games, so knock yourselves out. The next custom build I have for you is a walk-in shower from my suburban family home for which you'll need Discover University. So you start off by placing walls but leaving one gap so sims can walk in and you can either use half walls or full walls depending on preference and then place windows again fully up to you which look you prefer. For this room I like these plain ones from base game. Just place them on the walls that we've just built. and then add this shower from Discover University, like I said. It's the only shower without the typical like box shape. So that's why it's the only one that works for open showers. So that's basically the shower done. You can add accents to it. Like for example, the towel shelf. For that, I just use the immaculate shelf again and then add some towels on it. And I also like the look of this wooden floor from Spa Day to create the look of an actual shower. And last but not least, I've got this sunken pool lounge for you that's part of my modern mansion. I've already placed this foundation as part of the build, so I'll just drag it out to the size I want. If you're building it from scratch, just place a foundation and put it to your preferred height. So then create a room on top with walls. I did a 5x5 for this one. and then delete the foundation in the middle. Delete the walls, obviously.
and then you can put the foundation color on that you like. I just went for this very plain one. And then you can place some floor tiles and stairs. And for the sofas, I used some from Discover University. With bb.move objects on, you can put them inside each other to create the look of like one big corner sofa. And on one side I created a floating surface for drinks for example. Simply use the slab from Spa Day. Size it up once and raise it to the height you want. And then you can just decorate it with whatever you like. And in the middle I use this sofa table from City Living. I hope these tips were useful to you, if so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Can't wait to see you in the next video, bye!